Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance. Today, we're doing something just a little bit different. A little while ago, and by a little, I mean 72 hours, I downloaded for the first ever time World Edit, and I just plan around with it for a few hours, really, did this mountains in the background and done some of the other stuff. And I mentioned it in my Avoverse Discord. If you want to come to the Avoverse Discord, by the way, it's completely open. The link is in the description below. But in the Avoverse Discord, I mentioned that I just got World Edit and was playing around with it. Posted a couple of pictures and people said, do a tutorial on how to use it. So I thought what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install World Edit using both the fabric and the Forge installer. And I'm also then gonna do another video on how to use it, which will come after this. I may even release them on the same day, so as you're not uploading it and then waiting to find out how to use it. But first off, we've got to get this fella on your computer. So let's go over there now. So here we are on my desktop. If you're wondering what that is, that's Avamancia after a couple of years of building. Quite pleased how that came out, but that's not what we're talking about. What we need to do is we need to come along and get ourselves onto Fabric. We'll do Fabric first and then we'll do Forge. So fabricmc.net, you can see at the top here, this will bring you to this page. And there's a couple of things you need to do here. The first is to come onto the Fabric Loader, which you'll download here. You see this little thing here, open that up. And that gives you this page here. Now there's lots of confusing information. Most people are playing on vanilla. That is what the standard Minecraft launcher is. So if that's what you're playing in, play on that vanilla. And you wanna got either an XE or a jar file. If you're working on Windows, XE is almost always gonna be the one that you want to use. But if you're working uh, and you're used to using jar files, etc., feel free to do use the jar. It does work, but just be prepared for it to get a little bit fritzy on occasion. The XE file, however, works every time. Click on that and you'll get this fella down here on the left hand side so if you open that up it says opening up fabric you will get this window select the version that you want to be working in now it's completely up to you which of these you want to be working in now if you want to do replay mod then this is not a tutorial on how to install replay mod but if you want to do replay mod you're going to need to come down to 14.4 for example but if you want to work in 15.2 then this is the fella that you want click on install that will install it. I'm not going to click on the button because I've already got it and click that out. And when it's open, you don't need to do anything else. That is now installed. What you do, however, need to do is get this API. Now, the API is the mod portal that the mod uses to bounce all of its information off of. Click on this button here. That will take you through to this page here, Fabric API. Pause this and rewind it if anything is too fast. So you want to come to this file, just click on files and you can see you've got a couple of options. You've got all of these different at 115.2, 115.2, 115.2, etc, etc. And you, you basically want to install the correct one for the version of Fabric that you just uploaded. So for example, if you just uploaded Fabric for 115.2, get the most recent version, which is this one. If you installed it for 114.4, this is the fella that you want, the most recent one. The further north they are on this list, the more recent they are and probably the better the choice is. Click download. Download app will happen in one, two, three, four, five seconds. And then you'll get a little doodad coming up in the bottom left-hand corner. This is just the computer being careful. You can see because it's a jar file. The computer's being careful because it doesn't want you to get any nasty viruses. This, however, is absolutely fine. As long as it says fabric-api and ends in jar, you are gonna be golden. Press keep. That will download that. Drag this to your desktop like that. It's just a lot easier to manage when you've got it on the desktop like that. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your Minecraft mods folder. And that's really easy to find as long as you know what to do because they do hide it away. Type in here percent app data percent. You can see that gives you a file folder here percent app data percent. Open that up and you'll see right at the top of your mind dot Minecraft. Now I'd recommend that you create a shortcut so you only ever have to do app data once which you can do here create shortcut like that and drag that to your desktop click into the minecraft click into mods and i've already done it as you can see but drag that into your mods folder that is all you need to do with that now let's have a look at forge 
We are now going to install Forge. Now, whether you install Fabric or whether you install Forge, it's entirely up to you and what platform it is that you want to play on. Most people do this on Forge, but in 114.4, if you want to use Replay Mod, Fabric is absolutely the best option. So come to your Internet Explorer and you want to come to files minecraftforge.net forward slash question mark forums. I'll put all these links in the description below, so please don't worry about that. You have got a few choices. Depends what version you want to play in. Again, if you want to play in 15.2, make sure that it says 15.2 there and you're away. If you want to play in 10, feel free. You can play in 1.10.2. You can do that as well. It is not a problem. And then you've got two more choices. You can download the recommended one, which has been entirely debugged, theoretically, or you can download the latest one. And the latest one is, again, theoretically completely fine, but may have the odd little bug. It's, it's not entirely tested, but I always go for the latest one. Anyway, click installer, and that will take you to this page. Take your finger off of your mouse button. Do not click anything on this page until up in the right hand side here, it says skip. Once it says skip, click on skip and you'll see you've got your download on the left hand side at the bottom. As long as it says Forge 115.2, which is the one that we just selected, and a jar, you can hit keep with genuine comfort. So hit keep there and that is there, you can see, waiting for us to play with it. You don't need to drag this to your desktop, all you need to do is just click on it. So that's what we're going to do now. This gives you this install client, install server extract. If you're installing it into a server, surprisingly you do that install client all you do is click ok and that will install forge you can see downloading libraries and it does loads of malarkey and once this green line has completely finished about 14 million times you'll find that you've installed forge and there you go we get this little pop-up that says successfully installed client blah de blah de blah de blah okay that's now done. You can close this. You will never ever need it again. And the next thing you want to do is install World Edit. Now I'm coming onto this page. You can see Cursed Forge, Minecraft, MC Mods, World Edit. This is the page that you are after. Now on here, click Files. That will take you to this page here. And you'll notice you've got some choices. Again, it's always choices with this, isn't there? Depending on which one you physically uploaded, if you're working in Fabric or Forge, you need to download the one closest to the top in the version that you have downloaded. So for example, we've downloaded Forge for Minecraft 1.15.2 just here. So I want to download this one. Also did Fabric and blah, 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 blah. So select the one that you need. I'm going to click here and I'm going to download that. Again, it takes us to this page here. Download will begin in two seconds, one second, and down on the left hand side. Again, we'll see this little worry. Again, if it says World Edit Forge MC and JAR, we are good to go. Click keep on that and that will download that onto our um, hotbar there. So now we just get that onto our desktop and then we can start to play with it. And here we have, it is on our desktop right there. I'm now gonna again open up my mods folder in exactly the same way as I did before because I've now got a shortcut, the shortcut that you made, excellent. And I'm gonna drag this into the folder like that. You can see World Edit Forge MC 115.2. That is now in my system. Now what I can do is I can come down and I can open up my Minecraft launcher. And in this Minecraft launcher, if you open up your installations and you come all the way down to the bottom, you should see you've got a brand new one, Forge 114.4, 115.2 Forge, which is what we just downloaded. So if we select that one, you can see that's a new one and we can play it. If it is not there, you can come to installations, click new installation and select it through in that method. So if you click new, unknown installation, call it summit, whatever it is you want, and you can go through and it will be on here. You can see 115.2 forge 31.1.18 so i'm going to play this and this is going to load up minecraft now all i have done is gone into my minecraft game and created a new world and now we're going to see whether or not the uh, mod has actually been installed the world edit mod and that's going to be dead easy let's come so i've got shaders on as well so that's quite nice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get myself the wooden axe like that and i'm just going to check that it is actually working and the way I do that is just literally by hitting the wooden axe on any block, just with the left mouse button. If I do that, it says in the bottom left there, first position set to 210, blah de blah de blah And you can see if I then come and do something with the second mouse button, that second position set. Now that's because the wooden axe 
is your friend when it comes to world edit. So we know that this has actually worked. Now, if I come up here and put in in the air and I put in a command slash slash H sphere uh, 25, I picked a random number and five, I should appear in a hollow sphere when I press enter here. Bang. Yes, I have. I've appeared in a hollow sphere full of Oh, well, no, block, except I've got, you can't do anything with the axe whilst you're in There we go. We've got a sphere of note blocks as a result of that command. So welcome to World Edit. Now, the next video, which I'll be doing shortly, will tell you how to do some of the basic commands. So there you have it. I hope that was a useful little tool there to help you get World Edit onto your computer because Let's face it, if you can't get it on your computer, you ain't never playing it. This is an incredible tool. I've only had it for three days as I record this video. Three days, and I'm already utterly hooked. And it is just an amazing tool, especially if you are a big builder or terraformer. So I'm going to sign off here. If you found this enjoyable, please do let me know by slapping that like button really, really hard. Leave me a comment down below. And also, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to know you're in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.